The PXMP50 is a game controller for the Nintendo Switch and is compatible with PC. As a company, PXN are better known for their steering wheel controllers, which are affordable and extremely compatible with multiple systems. But can their new game controller compete with giants like 8-Bit Doe, or will they crash and burn? In today's PX50 review, we will find out. Welcome to Team Panori. Subscribe. I am John Lu. This arrived. PXN asked us if we'd like to review their new controller, and after seeing some pictures of this online, we gladly accepted. The P50 is a Nintendo Switch controller, but apparently it works with PC too. Inside the box we got some paper, some manual, guarantee, quick start guide, and something else. As we're in Japan, the manual is in Chinese, English, and Japanese. And it goes over things like the mobile app and how to use on a Switch. It has NFC compatibility, so you can use your amiibos. We can reset our joystick in case of drift. And it has auto fire, macros, and sleep function. I'm actually a bit concerned about this bit here. According to this, we need a wired connection in order to use it with our PC. Going back to the box, we got a 1 meter USB C cable and the PX50 controller itself. It's well packed in there, and on first impressions, this controller looks really nice. It's quite light at 213 grams, and it feels very nice in the hands. All of the controls are well positioned, making this a very comfortable controller. Analog sticks feel light, whereas the D-pad is quite firm. Face buttons are well sized, and the shoulder buttons up top are all digital. No analog triggers here. Let's have a closer look. We had no problems pairing with the Switch, and there seems to be no real problems when it comes to latency either. When it's connected to the Switch, it seems to be quicker than the 8-bit Doe Pro 2. As it's turned on and paired up, we can adjust vibration strength. Perhaps a nice birthday gift for Beverly. The QR code in the manual sends us to the PXM website, where we have tutorials and links to Apple and Android versions of the app. But for the security conscious, you need to allow a ton of things in order to get this app to work. But once we're in, we can change settings for all PXN hardware, like button mapping, macros for the smaller buttons at the back, effective range for the analog sticks, and we can recalibrate our gyro. To be honest, I don't know much about the Switch, so I'll hand you over to an expert. Hello, I'm Rahul Guma, and I like the Nintendo Switch. When I use this controller, it feels really good in my hands. The buttons are nice too. My hand is too small, so I can't really use the gyro. I think calm people can enjoy this controller a lot. And now I'm gonna play Tetris, so bye! Thank you, Ahoguma. Even though there was a Bluetooth connection available, it wouldn't connect to a Windows PC, so we gotta use a USB cable. And frankly, this is quite disappointting. First, we can see that there's a latency issue. There's a slight delay from what we do on the controller to the input on the screen. Secondly, there's a bias for what the analog stick wants to do. It seems that the controller wants to lock it into the center extremes, rather than giving us an honest representation of our input. If we compare it to the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller, it's very easy to see. And as you can imagine, this is very problematic in games. Slightly laggy and far too sensitive. We looked at the sliders in the smartphone app, but there's no way to make the analog sticks less sensitive. We tried connecting it wirelessly to the Steam Deck, and it managed to pair once. There's still the same issues with the analog stick, but it's nice to see that we could use the gyro as an input. But after restarting one time, we couldn't connect at all. If you're in the same boat and still want a wireless connection, you could use a Mayflash Bluetooth dongle. These guys connect to a controller and convert the input to your liking, so you could use this to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to a Nintendo Switch, or in our case, a PXM P50 to an Xbox 360 compatible controller. It's about time for the pros and the cons. The P50 is very comfortable, has nice buttons, and looks great. It's painful to see how this solid groundwork is shattered. News just in. Apparently you can update the firmware on the PXN website. According to a smartphone app, the P50 is the latest firmware version, but this may not be the case. In the tool section of the website, we're gonna go down to P50. Firmware update, there we go. Let's download that. 
save it to anywhere on a computer. Now we can open the update tool, connect the controller via USB to our computer, then push home, X and Y for three seconds. Now we're given the option to update the firmware. Just click that, wait for the bar to fill. Once it hits 100%, we can unplug it and then reinsert. Now that the firmware is updated, both our analog stick and latency problems are nowhere to be seen. The difference is like night and day. The analog stick is still quite light, but now it actually feels like I'm controlling the car. Bluetooth is now working natively in Windows. No money for that dongle. And this also applies for our Steam Deck. I like driving in my car. Not too close, not too far. Now get in my car. For Massar. So again, let's get to the pros and the cons. The P50 is very comfortable, has nice buttons, and looks cute. Unfortunately, it'll need its firmware updating on a PC to fix all of its issues. The P50 is a rather nice controller, especially for the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully in the future we'll see more from PXN, as 8BitDo need competition. First, a big thank you to all those on our Patreon, and secondly, we have a giveaway. Two PXN P50 controls are up for grabs, and all you need to do is subscribe and comment on Instagram. For more information, check the video description down below. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! It is me, John Lu. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and bell. Click on the videos above for happy lucky time with me, John Lu.